it. So a lot of you may not know this about me or my channel, but I am a huge fan of the video game Skylanders. And for those who just watch on YouTube, you probably wouldn't even know that. But for those who watch my Twitch, they've seen me do a few streams of it. So today I decided to ask my Discord server, by the way, link in the description below if you guys want to join it, to be part of videos like this in the future, about sending me the, in their Skylander collections. And here's a quick little overview of mine. I think it looks pretty good, and it's definitely a big collection. I've been collecting for years, and I really wanted to see how everyone else started collected and how everyone else got into Skylanders just like how I did. So, I think that's pretty dope. Now, this isn't going to be the only video I do of this. If this does well, I would totally like to review other people's Skylander collections. So, if you guys want to be part of this, make sure you guys join my Discord server. Link in the description below. So, that being said, let's go be amazing like myself and Blue Skidoo. So, first up is Night Mangles, a Skylander collection. Their picture uh, shows, um, it's not the biggest collection, but like it's still fairly big. I really like it because I see a bunch of custom Skylanders. I've never tried painting one. I totally do that for a video. But I see they have a painted Dinorang, a bit of a painted Series 2 Double Trouble, as well as a bit of a painted uh, wind-up, as well as... It looks like um, a gray Spyro, which is pretty cool, as well as um, a Magnet Charge uh, with, uh, swapped with Spyrise, which is pretty dope. But he also has a bunch of rare ones, like um, I think it's Jingle Chain Chop, or like, uh, sorry, not Chain Ch Ch Chomp, uh, Chompy Mage, um, as well as the green Wash Buckler and Shroom Boom, which have been very awesome Skylanders, as well as Volcanic Eruptor, Dark Sna Snapshot, uh, Shortcut. Nightmare, a lot of cool, a lot of cool ones. I really like their Enigma, and also they even have a boxed Blue Bash. That is dope. That is a great collection. A bunch of awesome ones, especially that Pearl Whirlwind. I really like this collection. Great job. So next up is Chicken Tenny Gaming's collection, which is actually very well organized, except for Spitfire. He's a fire element, not air. No, you're shit. Anyways, um, really nice. I really like it. It's very nicely organized. It's nice and short and simple. It has a bunch of cool characters. The ones that I notice mostly are Stump Smash, one of my favorites. Spitfire, and again, another one. I really like Ronado. He's also pretty cool. Hothead's also pretty cool. Giant. He even has a Splat and Series 2 Bash, which is also really cool. I love that figure. And he even put his portals in. Very nice. With a very nice Chaos Trap at the middle. Now, this collection, you see, belongs to Mr. Axelot. And... He took three photos to show his whole collection, and I very much like it. I think it's a very nice collection, very nice, um, it's very big, I mean, like, not as big as mine, that's what she said, but it's a very nice size collection. It's always good to have, like, a, it makes you feel good when you put down all your Skylanders and you see it's a gigantic collection, because you just feel like you have a whole army, and you'll never have a game over for the rest of your fucking days when you play Skylanders. It's just a great feeling. So, I really like uh, the condition that he's put. Uh, like, his condition of his Skylanders is very well. A lot of now, a lot of now. Blah, 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 blah. Nowadays, I see uh, people's Skylanders collections with poorly taken care of Skylanders with either warped um, sculpts because of how hot it got or chipped paint, etc., etc. But, no, they're all in very well condition, I see. Very nice collection. I really like the Legendary Bouncer and Free Ranger. He's a really cool Swamp Force character, in my opinion. And I'm sorry, hands down, Slam Bam is probably one of the coolest figures out there because of how crystal clear he is. Very nice. The reason why I'm not saying all of them is because I have most of these Skylanders. I actually, every so far, everyone I've looked at, I've had, I have every one of them. I'm not crazy, but still, great, great collection, Mr. Axelot. Love it. Now you see, Boingo, on the other hand, is a very small collection, but it's actually a, a collection that has very awesome Skylanders. Sorry for that voice. <laughs> yeah, we have Spyrise, really cool tech Skylanders, as well as Jawbreaker, one of my favorite figures to date. But they don't make any more games, so... Ba, ba, ba. No. <laughs> so we have Firecracken. Firecracken looks really sick. I love that figure. And yeah, just a very nice, short, simple Skylander collection. Really nice. I like it. And last but not least, we have Luigi Boy. And Luigi Boy's collection is pretty big because he does a lot of Skyland content on his YouTube channel in general. I um, see that he put, uh, he taken pictures of a lot of them. He has a lot of boxes, but I also put a bunch on the table just to show them off. 
and uh, one that really stands out to me is his gnarly tree rex. I love gnarly tree rex. I have one myself. It's one of my cool, my, one of my favorite variants to date. Right next to Jade Fire Kraken. But that's a secret. Don't tell anyone. Anyways, but um, really awesome collection. Really sick. It is. Uh, there is a lot of skyliners, and it's good to know I'm not the only crazy one who wanted to waste thousands of dollars of my uh, well-earned money to pay for this very expensive hobby, especially when it was at its peak. And that's going to do it for today's video. So this was actually a lot of fun to make. If you guys want to submit your guys' Skyliner collections, please, yet again, take the link in the description below to my Discord server and submit yours. And who knows, I might do another video about this soon. So please let me know about your guys' feedback in the comments below. I had a lot of fun doing this. It did seem a little rushed to me when reading the script because the words were just flowing out but for how much fun I had looking at everyone else's collection. This was really awesome and it really showed me that this franchise if, if, la, 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 franchise isn't dead yet because the fans refuse to let it die because we're there to keep it going, find new things, find fun memories about it, continue buying the figures, hell, even some customize them. It's really awesome to see what the franchise can do and the fandom can do. So really, I hope it comes back one day. And I bet everyone who still plays the game also thinks that. So, yeah. So make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss a video from me. And if you guys are new, please consider joining the Nickrick family for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all, and I'll see you in the next video. Roll the credits.